Yes, food is definitely one of the greatest treasures of this archipelago. Now, I don't know who can be better fitting to talk about food. There's really only one name that comes to my mind. He is celebrity chef and best-selling author, Chef Tato. Now, I may be an expert in eating food, but I am no expert when it comes to food trends. And I am so happy and excited to welcome mm -hmm. Chef Tatung to the show because he will be helping us to introduce the latest food trends, get to meet the latest chefs and food personalities, and at the same time, make that perfect, perfect dish. So, Chef, welcome on board. Yeah, so I'll be joining you every week after all. Amazing. So, uh, we're doing this new segment. It's going to be called Food Forward. So, we'll be interviewing and uh, spending time with the movers and shakers in the food industry mm -hmm. and people who have new ideas and new innovations. And we're going to share it and chit chat with them every week in Food Forward. So, Chef, we actually have a reason to celebrate tonight because congratulations, your cookbook actually won at the Gourmand World Cookbook Award. Yes, I'm so I'm so happy. You know, I did, I didn't expect to win. There were around like uh, entries from 57 countries, and you know, um, my book won the best cookbook, best in the world. In the cook world, um, you're so passionate about mm -hmm. Filipino food. What yeah. brought about that? You know, I've been I've been cooking for several several years, and you know, I've been cooking like um, Western cuisine, you know, um, Southeast Asian cuisine. But you know, the thing is, after a long day's work, you know, you'd still look for your adobo, you'd still look for your sinigang, and I comfort food. Comfort food, and I realized that you know, there's really nothing wrong with Filipino cuisine. So I went on a journey and tried to you know, um, in search not only for the cuisine but also kind of search for my own roots and that's when I started like documenting a lot of stuff you know discoveries about Filipino food you know um, ingredients recipes you know stories and I compiled so much that I ended up writing a book now one other thing yeah. um, that's worth mentioning is that you actually gave a talk yeah. at the Madrid Fusion yes in, in Madrid Spain and I was personally invited by the president of Madrid Fusion to to go to Madrid and talk and it just so happened that I was the first Filipino chef to talk on the main stage so I was really part of the main congress which has been running for 15 years already one thing interesting thing about mm -hmm. my, my experience in Madrid because I prepared two dinners mm -hmm. and they were all sold out the first dinner was actually for one of the very prominent families of Europe the Rothschild family oh my gosh yeah and um, after the dinner they were like raving about you know the dishes I prepared but they were all authentic Filipino dishes and officially they said that um, they've had a lot of dinners throughout the, the years in Madrid Fusion it was one of the best they had so sometimes so, simple is better yeah yeah thank you chef So chef, what do we have here today? So we have a tinapa pate or a smoked fish pate. It's very simple to do. We just have some minced garlic, some you know shredded bangus, smoked bangus, cream cheese, um, a little bit of dill if you want, lemon, salt and pepper, and you just mix it into a paste. And That's so simple. Yeah, and you put it in crackers, store-bought crackers, and you put a piece of fruit in it, and it's gonna be lovely. That easy. Yeah, and lovely with wine. Of course. Yeah. And on behalf of Chef Tatung and the entire team, this has been Kelly Misa Fernandez wishing everyone more weekends, more friends, and more trends. Only here on Trending with Kelly.